Today I'm going to show you how to mod Borderlands 2, and it is super simple. There is literally only one download, and you don't even have to extract the file, download WinRAR, anything. First thing you're going to want to do is follow the link I've left for you in the description, and download the zip file. Now you're going to want to open your Steam Launcher and right-click Borderlands 2, click Manage, and then Browse Local Files. This is going to open up your file browser at the right place. You're not going to need to do any more navigation from here. Just open up that zip folder, don't bother extracting it, there's no need to. And then you're going to drag it into the Borderlands Game Files window. And there should be binaries also in that folder. So when you drag it in, it might ask you to replace a few files. That is fine. Say yes, it's okay. Now that you've successfully done that, you should be able to load up Borderlands 2. It should load up just like normal. But now you should have the addition of a mod section of the menu just like you see on my screen now. Now, in under 1 minute and 30 seconds, you have everything you need to start modding Borderlands. So now you're going to want to know the important part, which is actually installing the mod itself. So all you're going to want to do is find yourself a Python SDK compatible mod. All you need to do is navigate to that mods page in the game that I showed you initially, and then click the O button on your keyboard and it'll literally just bring up the file you need to put the mod into. So once you've found your mod, you're going to want to extract the file to that folder, and make sure the first file in, as soon as you click that extracted folder, is a .py file. That is how it is with most mods. And if you've got two folders labeled the same thing, it is likely you've extracted it wrong, and you just need to go a folder in extract and paste the exact path. Or, you know, you can copy the folder inside that and then paste it in the uh, correct area, but that's still extra effort, opposed to getting it right first time. And then to actually activate the mod, you're just going to want to load up into the game and go into the mod menu that I showed you before to open up the file. Click on the mod's name, which you should now see, and click enter if it's deactivated, and it should be activated and ready for you to play with. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, I'm posting weekly now, apart from last week, but we don't talk about that. Anyway, see you in the next video.